Salem, you were supposed to be watching her. First, we have to move her over the bed. Okay, but careful, don't wake her up. Now softly down like a feather borne down safe to bed to greet the morn. You know, her powers are certainly beginning to bite. As long as they don't bloom. Maybe we could give her a teensy hint just so she's Perish well prepared. The thought. Do you want her to start off with a strike against her from the council? The rule is clear. No matter what, she can't know until the full moon after her 16th birthday, and then we can tell her. Hey. I just hope she doesn't have a conniption when she finds out. A what? You know, freak. happened last night? No. What's wrong? Why do you ask? Well, it's just so weird. Did someone rearrange my furniture while I was sleeping? What? My bed moved. At least three feet. Well, maybe we had an earthquake. We don't get earthquakes in Riverdale. No. In case you didn't notice, I've been here in three months and nothing ever happens in Riverdale. Besides, Salem would have warned us. Wouldn't you, Salem? Everybody knows cats are psychic. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Sometimes I swear I can hear his thoughts. Salem's such a special cat. I had the strangest dream last night. Really, dear? What about? Well, I dreamt I was flying. I was high above the town, just floating. Oh, I used to have that same dream when I was... Uh, when I was dreaming. Which I don't anymore. Well, whatever. Talking about dreams. Did you ever have the one where you realized you were late for class? Don't wig, I'm going, I'm going. Here, thanks. Bye. 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 Sometimes I think there's something very odd about those two. Don't you, Salem? Mondo styling boots, man. Those are cool. Thanks. What's up? Do I seem different to you? Taller. No, I'm serious. Do you ever feel like you don't fit in? Every day of the week, man. Every day of the week. I mean that there 
there was something really wrong with you. Like I had a disease or something there? No, not a disease, just something different. Well, look, why do you think that they have a counselor at that school? Everybody thinks they've got a problem. We're the trouble youth of today. I mean, my parents can't wait till I go away to college and come back human. Hey, Sabrina. Hey, Harvey. How's it going? Good. Hey, what happened to you? What? I don't know. You seem, uh, different. Hey, was it something I said? You've got style, Harvard. Anyone ever tell you that? Yeah, all the time. You got it? Uh, yes, I have it. Ethics 101. You're gonna get a B plus on this paper. Uh, I knew I could count on you. Thanks a lot, buddy. It's great. Let's get out of here. Seth, he's a sophomore. Well, no one's perfect. Whatever. Look at her. This best all-world Katie Lamour. Really? Who says? Her own imagination. Whoa! Trey great foliage. I've got stuff growing out of my locker too, but I think it's mold from a avocado sandwich or something. <laughs> you must have a secret admirer. Shh, you're the only one who knows it's my birthday. Your birthday. Right, right. Your birthday's the 27th, and that would make it today. Happy birthday. Thanks. Let's go to class. Yeah. Focus, please, ladies. Keep your eye on the ball. Sorry, Miss Jones. Check that out, Sabrina. Seth? He's okay, I guess. Okay? Come on, he's more than okay. Dumping Seth. What? I thought you two were madly in love. We are. Am I missing something? Oh, friend, you're so naive when it comes to L'Amour. Huh? Matters of the heart. A stagnant relationship is doomed to failure. I just want to keep him on his toes. Hey! So where's the party? Party? Well, I'm invited, right? We're pals, aren't we? So who's it for? Sabrina. Sabrina? Oh, you mean that good-looking transfer student, right. Right. Uh, where's Katie? You didn't hear? No, we broke up. I'm a free man. Hey, Mr. Dingle! Hi, girl. Well, the first time Bobby Peterson kissed me, it was magic. Of course, I got nauseous and felt like I was gonna hurl, but that's not what I meant. I was thinking more along the lines of the supernatural. You mean like astral projection and channeling in the psychic network? Mm, sort of. I mean, let me ask you this. Are the aliens really the ones who built the pyramids? Come on, I'm serious. Sure, absolutely, positively not. Great. They've forgotten my birthday. 
Hmm. Well, there's always pizza. Sure. Of course, I had some help from your aunts. They're both really something. They're something, all right. Harvey, your nachos are burning. I'll be right back. This party just hit the big time. What? It's seven. Well, obviously, we were expecting. Cool. He is sort of cute. Oh, cute, come on, Sabrina. You're 16 now, this guy isn't cute. He's a man. <laughs> anyway, have a good time. <laughs> this is a great party, Harvey. You're, you're a genius. She's having a great time. Yeah, well, she's a great kid. A kid? Mm -hmm. Come on. In case you haven't noticed, she's not really a kid anymore. Uh, I've noticed. <laughs> be the birthday girl. Well, happy birthday. I'm Seth. I know. So, uh, so how do you like Riverdale so far? Things are definitely looking up. You know. Listen up! Who wants to play? Pin the tail on the donkey. What is this, some kind of time warp or something? <laughs> hey, lady, this is a third grade. <laughs> maybe it would be fun. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it'd be cool. Right? Yeah, I guess. Hey, uh, can I help at all? Yeah, thanks, Harvey. Could you hold this? Okay. Check it out. Have fun with this. I'm really good. Give it a Yes? Yes, friend. You'll never believe this. What? Seth is here at Sabrina's party. I can't believe it. What's he doing there? He's playing pin the tail on the donkey, and he looks like he's having a good time. If anyone tries to steal him from me, they're dead meat. Do you hear me? Dead meat! You're not even close. Wrong again. Could you please move? Say pretty please. Pretty please, with sugar on top? I don't think it's gonna work. What did I tell you? You weren't even close. Have you two met? Sabrina, this is Katie. Katie, this is Sabrina. Charmed. Likewise. It's uh, Sabrina's birthday. Oh, really? <laughs> I would never have guessed. Sweet 16. Oh, what's happening to the CD player? Katie, have a hat. Join the festivities. It uh, goes on your head. OK, sweetheart. Through. I see the Donegan Bell of 
But you aren't fired. I saved your life. Your hair is burning. I, I thought it was important to you, and I just thought I was helping. Yes, you did. Thanks, Harvey. Are you okay? No, thanks to you. Are you coming? Well, no. I, I thought I was a free man. Suit yourself. Well, um, who wants cake? So, did you have a good birthday? Yeah, it was great. You know, that friend of yours, Katie, she's really quite the comedian. She'll do anything for a laugh. Real hothead. Yeah, she's something all right. It was the strangest thing. I thought that were. Uh, you know, your parents called today from Sri Lanka. More cake? I can't believe I missed them. Did you get a number? Oh, honey, it was a terrible connection. They're on the move anyway. Next stop, Venice. They'll call again. We know you miss them, sweetheart. They sent their love. Hey, Sabrina, look on the bright side. They're halfway through their sabbatical. I don't know what I'd do without you two. Ah, uh, well, we're just glad we could be here to guide you through your special time. My special time? Your birthday. She means you're a special yes, birthday. Your special present. Time. My special present? Well, where is it? Well, it hasn't arrived yet. Your parents mailed it, and uh, you know how the mail is. They are always so slow. But don't fret, I have a feeling it'll be here any day now. If it gets here at all. Oh, it'll get here all right. For Sabrina, happy 16th, to be opened only under the full moon. Love, Mom and Dad. There's nothing here.
I'm losing it. Definitely losing it. Mmm. Cool. Look, you think they're talking to their stockbrokers? Harvey, thanks for those flowers in my locker the other day. Figured it out, huh? Yeah, I figured it out. You're a real pal, Harvey. Anyone ever tell you that? Yeah, all the time. Hey, there's a the boys. Hey! You know, Lair, that He's a senior, time. Sabrina. <laughs> I said he's a senior. So that means he can't be seen with a sophomore? No, it means he doesn't even see sophomores. I wish I could change that. Mm. Yeah, anyway, no he came problem. to my party. So let's take off. He just came for the free food. I don't think so. Well, what do we have here? See you later, dudes. He called us dudes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Why are we here? Oh, come on, we get to okay. check out the boys okay. on the track team Try and target a date for the spring fling, which is a very good reason to want to get on the track team. Sess on it. You're a genius. I know. <laughs> Come on, ladies. I want everyone to try out for this event. Great. Katie Lamour is already on this event, and she owns this event. Nobody ever wants to try out against her. Katie Lamour thinks she owns everything. <laughs> That's how it's done, kids. Have you thrown a javelin before? Nope. You'll catch on fast. First time for everything. OK, ladies, listen up. You all saw how Katie did it? Just follow her moves. OK, I'll show you how to do it. Come with me. Okay. First you take the javelin and you hold it right here. Now there are three different grips. Yeah, Should I knew what I was doing. With two fingers extended. There's this. Okay. Let's go. Don't just stand there. At least try it. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Just proves there's such thing as beginner's luck. You're a natural, Sabrina. Do you want to be on the team? Well, okay, sure. Great. Okay, training starts tomorrow after school. That was great! <laughs> Sorry you didn't get on the team. Oh, it's okay. I didn't expect it. My house this weekend, the whole team is invited. And I will take it as a personal insult if everybody's not there. What's going on? Uh, it's Katie's annual pool party for the track team. I mean everybody. That means you too, Sabrina. I want you to make sure you're there. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Great. Well? This and the spring fling are like the social events of the year. What do you think this means? It means we have to go shopping! <laughs>
the first time Kelly Lamar will know the meaning of the word competition. Seventy-five dollars? I wish it was less. Is that all? Yeah. It's only fifteen dollars. It must be on sale. That's strange. Man, this is your lucky day. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. Okay, would you like us to wait? Oh, no, thanks. It's okay. Well, call us and we'll pick you up then. Oh, we'll manage a ride home. Are you sure? Positive. Well, then, have a good time. Yeah. Yeah, have fun, girl. Bye, bye. bye. Fun, fun, lots of fun, okay? Fun, fun, fun. Fun, 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 fun. <laughs> Maybe we should spy on her. Salem, Ow. you be good. Stay out of trouble and keep an eye on her. Ow. Leave it to me. Stupid? Like you notice? Like totally. Cool. <laughs> wow. If this is how the other half lives, I could get used to this. Sabrina, so glad you could make it. Brought your little friend along. Hi, Marty. Marnie. Whatever. Oh, listen, we're having a big diving contest in a bit. You do dive, don't you? She was a gold medalist at her last school. Is that true? Actually, it was silver. <laughs> Great. We'll see you in a bit. Oh, the cabana's over there. The water's great, you know? Great party. Since when are you on the track team? Uh, I'm not really on it, but I'm near it. Near it? Yeah. Uh, coach wants me to be the hurdle painter. You know, the hurdles get beat up and, and need painting. I'm considering the job. Hey, you look great, you know? Stunning. Really, just wow. Save it. You can stay. You'll probably enjoy the festivities coming up. I know how much you love surprise parties. This 
wax should help her take off. Katie was telling us that you're a fantastic diver. Oh, well, I didn't exactly say I was fantastic. <laughs> but everybody's waiting to see you dive. We can't wait. The diving contest is starting. You're up first. Everybody can't wait to see your technique. Seth especially. gonna be so embarrassed she'll transfer right back to wherever it was she came from and never show her face again you're jealous I'm not jealous I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing to be jealous about attention attention please what are you doing I'm just making sure everybody's watching <laughs> Sabrina 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 Well are you going to dive or not very good idea to go up against Katie Lamore. She seems like she's out to get me. I do. Come on, you've been staring at Seth like he's an hors d'oeuvre and you haven't eaten for a week. I have not. Yeah, right. He's so gorgeous. I mean, he even makes Brad Pitt look like a nerd. <laughs> Did you check out his butt? Oh, I could watch those buns. tight buns run around the track all day. <laughs> <laughs> He's so gorgeous. I could watch those buns all day. I can't ever go back to school. I want to go back to Massachusetts. What is it, sweetheart?
opened only under the full moon. Ah, we're just in time. And I see you've already found it by yourself. This, dear, is your heritage. You've probably been feeling a bit odd lately. Different? Well, you are different. Different? You're a witch. <laughs> a witch? <laughs> uh -huh. I can't be a witch. There's no such thing. Oh, you're wrong, sweetheart. We're witches, too. You're a javelin, dear. This can't be happening. This has got to be a dream. You're not dreaming, Sabrina. A special place exists only for witches. It's the world of magic. Every new witch must come here to receive the ancient book. Why are you doing this to me? It's not something we're doing to you. It's something you are. It's, it's how you were born. With a gift of magic. Magic? Magic. Magic. <laughs> That's right. Magic. This has got to be a dream. Morning. Morning, sweetheart. No, it wasn't a dream. It was real. <gasps> you really can talk. I'm hallucinating. This is nuts. No, no, you're not crazy. It all seems very strange, but it's all very real. My parents? Yes, they're witches too. And they had to go on their sabbatical because every witch must be delivered to trainers when they reach their 16th birthday. We'll be here to help you as you learn to use your powers. My powers? Of course, dear. What's the point of being a witch if you can't do magic? Salem? Now, wait a minute. I don't want to be your guinea pig. Though you're handsome as a cat, no, not pig. Turn into rat. <laughs> Very funny. You've had your joke. Cool. Oh, that's nothing, dear. When Hilda gets going, she's really good. You know that whole Susan Lucci thing? The actress? She's lost 15 years in a row. Hilda hates that show. Wow. Though you're handsome as a rat, Salem changed back into a cat. <laughs> I don't know why I put up with this. Witches. But every witch must learn to harness her powers. The decision of how to use your power is yours alone, Sabrina. And Salem? Salem is our familiar, dear. He's an animal that helps do our bidding. Here's some extra homework. Friends are calling. I can't face them. Why ever not? The party last night, Katie's party. Everybody heard me talking. My personal feelings about 
About what, dear? Okay, Sabrina, just this once. Sail the times of wind and place so poor Sabrina can say face time. Be gone. Well, what do you mean? It never happened. Hello? Hey, Sabrina, you okay? I think so. Must have been the food, huh? It was real nasty and you looked so sick. Sick? Yeah, and it's a shame, too, because you missed all those guys in those little bathing suits and diving competition. I didn't even dive? No one heard me talking? Dive? You're only there ten minutes. This is so great. See you soon. Okay, bye. It worked. It's true. I'm a witch. Go ahead, cast a spell. You know you want to. Well, I'm a witch, so let's make a switch. is going to be my score on this test. Let's get to it. Is there a problem, Miss Littlefield? No, Mr. Dingle, there's no problem. No problem at all. In my mind, in my sight, make all of Marnie's answers right. Mm -hmm. Is there a discussion you two would like to share? No, Mr. no, Mr. Dingle. Okay, time's up. Pass over your papers. Maybe I'll look at yours now, Marnie. Sure. Seems you've done very well. I have? Yes, you have. I think I'll go lie down. Here goes the big one. By the power of all the stars above me, I send this spell for Seth to love me. I don't know. 
it didn't work. What? Nothing. I've got news. You know, you know the guy, the shot putter, the guy I danced with? He asked me to the spring fling. Plan worked, they got a day. Oh, you <gasps> did, that's great. Yeah, I thought so. So all we have to do is find you somebody and it's perfect. It's not gonna be so easy. Want some tea, sweetheart? What's wrong, Sabrina? I don't understand. It was going so well. What's that, sweetheart? The witchcraft. It was working and then... Nothing. Zilch. What happened? Well, I was trying some things out and everything was going fine. Except that... Well, I was concentrating on this boy. A boy? Yeah, you know Seth. He was at my party. He's maybe the most popular boy in the whole school. Well, I cast a spell on him. You know, to get him to notice me. He cast a spell for love. Yeah, I cast a spell for love. Well, you saw him, you know. Yes, we know, but you can't. Can't what? You can't cast a spell for love. No such thing as a love potion? <sighs> Not anymore. In the old days, some witches, some bad witches, did cast spells for love. And it always ended in heartache. So the Great Witches Council convened, and it was decided to abdicate that power. We got in a circle, we held hands, we promised. Love is too precious for anyone to tamper with. I can't believe you did that. Well, it's true, dear. Great, the one power that might really be useful and I don't even have it. Believe me, Sabrina, it's better this way. What's the point of being a witch? Maybe she'll be one who doesn't appreciate her powers. Oh, give her time. It's not easy growing up. You never appreciated your magic until you were 200, if I recall. <laughs> As the flames engulfed her, her screams grew louder. Her struggles ceased. A smile locked on her twisted face. Such was the fate of Epi Lang, the witch. Did she really cause the storm that destroyed the Isle of May Lighthouse in 1636? We'll never know. But they thought so. Any comments, Sabrina? No. One more thought. During the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, 1558 to 1603, any woman who lured a man into marriage by the aid of makeup, high heel shoes, or a wig was subject to punishment as a witch. How many young ladies in this room today are guilty of the same, with the spring fling just around the corner? Class dismissed. Sabrina. Hi. Hi. Oh, it's too bad you had to go home so early. We had a great surprise planned. Well, my guess is I wouldn't have liked it much anyway. Well, maybe some other time. So, I hear Carpenter's renting a limousine for the spring fling. I guess my telling him how cheap he is finally paid off. I just hope he doesn't get a white one. They're so tacky. We're probably going in Seth's Camaro. You're going with Seth? When did he ask you? He hasn't yet. But I know he'll ask me after I win the All-City. And then I'll put him out of his misery and accept. Watch this princess throw a fit. Send her a humongous... Hey, what's that on your face? What? Come here. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God! Oh, that's so gross! Oh. Where are you going? What are you going to do with that thing? Remain. Okay. Okay. First, you take a deep breath and jump. Then when you're on your way back down to the ground, you simply miss. Miss what? You miss the ground. Uh, I don't know about this whole flying thing. Oh, oh. Sabrina, one of the greatest treats of being a witch is being able to fly. What about that little thing called gravity? Magic. It's just a matter of technique, practice, and one other thing. What? When you feel good about who you are, being true to yourself, then nothing can keep you down. Mm. Okay, uh, bad luck. Uh, but, but try again, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. Yeah. Ready, girl? Uh. 
Um, okay, um, maybe you should give it a rest. She needs to try this on her own. I think you're right. Okay. Did they burn real witches at the stake? No, of course not. Whoever told you that was a liar and a fraud? Usually they were drowned in a river or hung. Thanks, I feel a lot better. <laughs> that was only the bad witches. You're a good witch. You've got nothing to worry about. Trust me. Well, I now know how to get Seth to ask me to the spring fling. And it's not by using a love spell. I found a loophole. Oh, do tell. Don't be such a nosy cat. You'll just have to wait and see. Come on, Sabrina. Get the light out. I want you on the field now. Every dog has his day, every shark has his fin, but I've got the sneakers that can run like the wind. Ready to lose? Go, Sabrina! <laughs> All right, my sister! Go! That was a great run. It was Thanks. really, it was, uh... Careful she doesn't run over you, Harvey. Oh, a little competition never hurt anybody. One race doesn't make a winner. Well, everybody has an off day, huh, Katie? Yeah, well, I'm just saving myself for all city. That's when we'll separate the winners from the losers. Okay. Sabrina and Tonto. You know, she's cool. Hey, Sabrina. Over here. You're talking to me? Yeah, you. Come on, join us. It'll be fun. Oh, I don't know. Don't worry. Katie went home to lick her wounds. There's space. Oh, well. Sure, why not? Great, come on. Come on, Marnie. It'll be fun. Sure, I mean... I don't think there's much space left at the table, but sure. Actually, I just remembered that um, I forgot something at my locker, so I'm going to go get that. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. 
Come on. Better go, Sabrina. There's only so much room at the table. Hi, Sabrina. Hi, hon. Katie is so mad. She thinks you cheated somehow. She's throwing a fit. So we were just discussing Freddy's new nose. What do you think? Very nice. Nice. It's a masterpiece. I mean, it will be when the swelling goes down. Dr. Hoftetter is a genius. He's gonna do my lips next. What do you think? <laughs> well, I think they're fine now. <laughs> you're kidding, right? How can you be all that you can be if you're not willing to look like someone else? You know what I mean? So, who does your hair? I do. Oh, that's okay. We'll get you out of your cocoon in no time. So, are you gonna beat Katie at the L-City race? I'm sure gonna try. <laughs> Sabrina, <laughs> cut the modesty <laughs> stick. We're your friends now. <laughs> oh, sister. We've made some chili, sweetheart. Would you like some? No, no thanks. I think I could use some eye of Newt. Just kidding. I knew that. So, anything exciting happened today? Yeah. I finally got Seth to notice me. What do you mean? Got him. Well, I found a way around that no love spell rule. I put a spell on my running shoes. I beat Katie and Seth was so impressed, I'm sure he's gonna ask me to go. Sabrina, to didn't, didn't you read the magic book? Didn't Salem tell you? Uh-oh. Tell me what? You did tell her, Salem, didn't you? You are supposed to be helping. Well, not exactly. Why didn't you tell her? Isn't it obvious? He wants her all to himself. What are you talking about? Shame on you, Salem. Double shame. Oh. Would somebody please tell me what's going on here? It's right here in the book. Where's the book? Here it is. Witches and cows. Wh humans. Witches and humans. Witches are forbidden to use witchcraft to win love. But if witchcraft is used on a mortal in any form to win his love, and true love is not in his heart, then his kiss shall... His kiss shall what? His kiss shall turn you into a witch's familiar. You mean I'll be turned into a cat? For 90 years. But... If he loves you with a pure heart, then you're okay. Oh, well, I know Seth would love me that way. You know, with a pure heart. Then there's no problem. Love is something that's given freely by others because they want you to have it. And animal passion alone begets animal passion, just like Salem. You mean Salem? Afraid so. Salem was once a misguided warlock. But it was worth it. Well... I know Seth, and he would never. Oh, uh, well, then you have nothing to worry about? Teenagers. Hi. Excuse me, did somebody say something? Come on, don't take it personally. So, how was your power lunch with Katie's gang the other day? It was no biggie. Well, it was to me. I mean, did you see the way they looked at me? No. They didn't. The truth of the matter is, I didn't feel like comfortable there either. So? So... I just wanted to tell you I'm sorry. Go on. You're not gonna make this easy, are you? No way, sister. Look, I know I've been acting strange lately. It's Seth. I've never felt this way about anyone before. Does your heart start pounding? Yeah. And, and, and you start to feel a little faint when he's near? Like, I might just fall over. And your palms get all sweaty? Drenched. Have you ever felt like this? No, no, I haven't. So that's not how you feel about Jeff? No, that's not how I feel about Jeff. I'm going to the fling with Jeff for one reason and one reason only. What's that? He asked me. He gets bonus points for having a car, but that's all I need. You shouldn't sell yourself short. I'm not selling myself at all. I mean, I'm just being realistic. It's a dance. It's not a marriage. Just fine. So, you really have it bad, though, don't you? Yeah. Poor kid. But, you know, once I win all city for the school, I know Seth will ask me the spring fling. I just know it. Well, then a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do, don't we? 
Will you help me, Marnie? Yeah? Sure. How? I've got a plan. Phase two. Well, what was phase one? Don't ask. I'm gonna win him on my own. Well, of course you are. With my help. <laughs> right. So let's do this. Ready? Yes. Let's go. Okay. Woo! Woo! On your mark, get set. Hey, Harvard. You don't uh, happen to have an extra set of those questions for econ, do you? Uh, what questions? The ones on the test I'm supposed to take next period. No, Seth, I don't. Sorry. Well, I guess I'll have to get them from somebody else then. So, uh, you and Katie still history? Well... I haven't actually made up my mind, but uh, it's probably going to ask whoever wins all city. Unless, well, unless maybe you should ask Katie out. Don't be ridiculous. What's the matter? Don't you like her? Yeah, sure, I like her. I mean, what's not to like? Any guy would have to be insane not to want to. It's only that. Yes? She's not my type. I see what you mean. So you got a babe lined up for the spring fling, don't you, Harvard? I'm still working on it. Awfully cute. <laughs> he looks troubled. Perhaps I'll just see what he's thinking. Zelda, he looks so unhappy. Okay. To be quick. okay. Oh. What? He wants to bring it loose. Why? Well, haven't you figured that out here? Listen. Love. Can't live with it. Can't live without it. Oh. Thanks. I'm on my own now, win or lose, so drain the magic from my shoes.
Stay away, could you, Salem? I thought you'd be interested to know that Sabrina is not going to use any magic. She's testing this boy's life. Oh, Zelda. Maybe she will be the witch we expected her to be. All right, keep going. Right, Ladies and gentlemen, the up-to-date results are posted on Every shark has his fin, and I've got the sneakers that can win. So, uh, Seth asked you to the dance, huh? Yeah. You really like him, don't you? Him? Seth? Yeah, I do. I guess every girl in the school would say the same thing. Can I ask you a question? What's he got that... What makes him so... Perfect? Well, first, there's his smile. No, no, sorry I asked. What's wrong with you, Harvey? It's just that I've been thinking a lot about you and me. And there's something I want to tell you. What? Oh, uh, nothing. Have a nice time with Seth. You'll save a dance for me, right? Sure. You promise? Of course.
You can turn around now. Do you like it? Wow. I mean, meow. You know what I mean. Do you think Seth will like it? Yeah. Unless someone slapped him with a stupid stick. Sabrina, are you coming down? That must be him. Wish me luck. Is he here yet? Well, he appears to be waiting in his car. Well, I better get going. If, if he was a gentleman, he would come to the house, introduce himself properly, and escort you to his nice car. I mean, maybe he's no gentleman. She's in big trouble. Maybe we should drive you. No, that's okay. See you later. Hey, Sabrina. Hi, Seth. Uh, you don't mind if we give these guys a lift, do you? Oh, no. That's okay. Hi, guys. Hi, yeah. Hockey's much tougher than football. What? Have you ever seen the free of Maybe he'd like to be turned into a mouse. Oh, don't be silly. She's so vulnerable. We've got to help her. <laughs> Hilda, you know, rules are rules. There can be no intervention. This is one lesson she's just going to have to learn on her own. Seth, what's going on? Seth, man, what's going on? Hilda. No, it's not whack. Not doing anything. Put the okay. car down. Put the car down. Another game of fish. Oh, one for me, Harvey. Actually, give us the whole tray. Okay. This silver and white thing is just brilliant. You're so great. Yeah, oh, thanks. Hey, uh, listen, is Brenda here yet? I haven't seen her. Yeah, all right. Excuse me for just a sec, Sabrina. I'll be right back. Okay. What I mean is, are we gonna hit the lookout after the fling or what? It's tradition, man. Uh, Seth, you know I'm really kind of thirsty. Oh, you know what? Me too. Uh, get me a root beer, would you? You guys thirsty? Yeah. Yeah. Want anything? Get me a root beer. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, so, uh... Going, Cinderella. Fine. Can I get uh, four colas and a root beer for Prince Charming? So what's the prince like up close and personal? Well, there are a lot of people around. It's kind of loud. Uh, I guess there isn't enough of them to go around, huh? Hey, look, there's Marnie and Jeff. Wow, she looks like she's having a great time. Go,
Hey, you remember one dance for me, right? You promise? Sure. Really? Promise is a promise. Sabrina, Katie needs to talk to you. Alone is very important. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll get one later. Trying to get you to come to lookout, I uh 
No. Come on. Just one kiss. No. Just come on. No. You lied to me. Then yeah. why'd you come up here? I don't know. Don't know what? Look, come on. Where are you going? The dance is almost over. We won't make it back now anyway. So get back in the car. I wouldn't get back in my car with you for anything. You're no Boy Scout. Fine. You can walk then. Get some fresh air. You know, check out the stars, that sort of thing. Yeah, right. Come on. Uh, if you really want to know, I came to rescue you. But uh, <laughs> I can see you're okay. Oh. I'm not so sure. I've been a real idiot. Big time. Don't be hard on yourself. Can you forgive me? Yeah. Sure. Friends? Friends. You know, I only have one regret. That we won't get to have our dance. Me too. Yeah, I've got an idea. We can still make it. Yeah. Get on. I've got a better idea. Come here. Close your eyes. Harvey, my friend, who is so dear. Listen for music only we two can hear. Do you hear that? Didn't you see that? No. But... How did we get here? You drove us. On the bike. Don't you remember? Oh, yeah. Right.